Hi, so I don't have a story, actually. I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for being here, because tonight is the first night of the story of the founding of the Lesbian Wellness Project, and we are so excited about it. <laughs> Uh, so the vision of the Lesbian Wellness Project is a thriving LGBTQ community without health disparities. And we know that that is a lofty vision and that we're a very long way away from it. However, uh, we decided to do this work and to do it every day because we feel that we need to implement our mission of promoting positive health practices and increasing the access to and use of culturally appropriate care for our community. We believe in queer community health. We believe that everybody here can play a role in that. And we are brand spanking new, so it means <laughs> that anybody here who wants to be involved, please just, just call us, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> So the main areas that we're going to be working on, because we know that there are a lot of different things that contribute to these health disparities, and we know there are a lot of things we can do about them, we've decided to start with four main impact areas. The first is just our individual health behaviors and beliefs. We need to be making better decisions, and we need to understand what our risk actually is. The second is about increasing the cultural competence of our healthcare providers and institutions. And <laughs> thank you. Um, and the third is really about expanding our access to and use of that care. We know we have to do the first part to make the second part work, okay? But <laughs> it's gonna be a fairly big project. And the last impact area is really about counteracting the effects of minority stress. So a lot of you probably know that the trauma and stigma and discrimination that are associated with being part of a minority group really can affect your health and wellness outcomes. And we think that nights like tonight where we get people together and we share our stories and we build community have a real chance of counteracting that. And so I could talk all night <laughs> about what we have planned because we have a lot planned. Uh, but our official launch is going to be at Pride this year. We, <laughs> we are coordinating the She Power um, <laughs> Health and Wellness Zone at Pride. We hope to see you all there. And I hope to see emails and tweets and Facebook posts and all of that from all of you long before then. So what we're going to do tonight is if anybody uh, posts a picture on Facebook or tweets at us, I think that's the right <laughs> terminology, <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to enter you into a drawing for a set of um, gift certificates for a night out in North Park at some of my favorite places like Bluefoot and Tacos Perla and Lefty's Pizza. Uh, using, okay, I thought we were going to have the hashtags here on the screen, but apparently, yay! Okay, there they are. <laughs> um, so, you know, tweet at us, do that on Facebook, whatever, um, in the course <laughs> of the second half, and we will enter you in a drawing for our gift certificates. But more importantly, we want to start with one really basic thing that we can all do for our individual health that will contribute to our community health. And that is get in touch with yourself once a month. Breast cancer is a real thing for everybody, uh, female, male, cis, trans, anybody. Um, you need to get to know your body and establish a baseline. And I am lucky enough to have some of the, some of the sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and Mr. Rudy Ramrod here to demonstrate with me how to perform a self or partner chest exam. Now, keep in mind, we are not doctors. And you should talk to your doctor. <laughs> but we are here to inspire you to be proactive about your personal health. 
So I'm going to hand it over to our incredibly talented interim board chair and the person responsible for all of our beautiful logo and design work, Bridget. So before you begin your exam, there's one important thing to know, and it's that the breast isn't just this area, that it does extend up into the armpit and down to the rib cage. So you have to make sure you cover all of it with your exam. I, can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm not allowed. Okay. So <laughs> when <laughs> thank you. When you're performing these exams, there are some patterns you can use. You can use the lawnmower pattern. This up and down, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you can go in circles. Circles are good. <laughs> you can go radially out and in toward the nipple. Um, and you can go yeah, out and in. Yeah, yeah, it's OK. All right, so when you're doing this, what are you looking for? You're looking for hard spots, discoloration, tenderness, a change in texture, nipple discharge, although some is normal, uh, rashes, and if you find any of this, talk to your doctor. Some things are normal, some things are not. Don't freak out. Stress is also bad for your health. And luckily, you can do this on the floor, in the shower, and the shower is very good. <laughs> and the important thing is to establish a baseline and get in touch once a month so that you know when something changes. If you want a hands-on demonstration after the show, uh, just assume the position and wait your turn. <laughs> feel free to feel up a nun and you can say you got none tonight. And this isn't just for the ladies. Anyone who has nipples needs to get checked. Anyone with a chest needs to get checked. So please join in and, and get in touch once a month. Thank you.